This is music, and this is all about Exodus and Iron Maiden. <laughs> Haggerty uh, launched a contest a while ago. Go and check out his channel, by the way. It's a great vinyl community channel. Shows lots of metal. He loves doom metal. Overkill is his favorite thrash metal band. Uh, lots of good stuff on his channel. So go and check it out if you don't already know it. Anyways, he launched a contest uh, not too long ago. And... It's kind of, they're kind of like two versions of the contest. Originally it was, the idea was to show uh, your favorite Exodus album and then, you know, talk about your experiences of uh, seeing them live, Exodus. Uh, and then he kind of changed it into uh, just talking about your favorite band and talking about your experience of uh, watching them or experiencing them live. So I decided to do both versions of the contest. So up first, Exodus. Now I'm torn between two albums that are my favorite albums. So it's uh, this one here, Impact is Imminent and uh, Fabulous Disaster. And to me, they're kind of sister albums. They sound like they are very similar in style. The guitar tone and the production is very similar as well. Uh, I know a lot of people are, um, their favorite Exodus album is the first one. Um, and they are, you know, Paul Bailoff fans. I'm more of a Zetro guy. I do like the first uh, Exodus album. Um, but I'm a Zetro guy and these are my two favorite Exodus albums. I think they're great thrash metal albums. This one here, by the way um an og at least it's from back in the day and this one is a picture disc that actually sounds quite good so there you go now have i experienced exodus live yes once uh it was back in the rob dukes days and um the bill was this check this out the bill was suicidal angels death angel Exodus and Creator. That's a dream bill for a lot of people. That's insane. Um, so, so first it was Suicidal Angels. Pretty, pretty good performance. They were kind of like the support act, you know, to the rest of the bands. And then you had Death Angel taking to the stage, uh, and that was that, that's in the top five of my favorite concerts ever. That was an amazing concert. They were awesome. Uh, and then they were followed by Exodus and then by Creator. And I gotta say, Exodus were, they were strangely low energy, especially Rob Dukes. And I've seen the footage of him riling up an entire uh, festival full of you know, thousands of people. But at this concert, it was all, you know, uh, very strangely low energy. It was good, obviously, but low energy. Um, and so was Creator, actually. I actually left halfway into the Creator show. Uh, and, and it wasn't bad. But I think maybe it was a combination of, of that and then just Death Angel just blowing everybody else off stage. I actually think that's uh, the thing. So I've seen Exodus live once. I would really like to see them live with, uh, with a Zetro on vocals because uh, I do love Exodus. Uh, and that was a fantastic bill. Just so happened that Death Angel, the second band to take the stage, blew everybody else out of the water. Sometimes that happens. I've seen that too with uh, Invocator uh, supporting Paradise Lost. Um, Invocator, just amazing. And Paradise Lost were just underwhelming after that. We left after two Paradise Lost songs. Um, so there you go. That sometimes happens. Anyways. Part two, my favorite band. Uh, a lot of you know this. My favorite band is Iron Maiden. This is my favorite album.
by Iron Maiden and my favorite album of all time. Have I experienced them live? I have, obviously not on this tour, uh, but just to show you live after death. I have experienced them live a number of times. The first time I saw them live, they were already my favorite band and had been for many years. But the first time I saw them live was actually touring uh, the X Factor. And it was at a festival, as far as I remember. It was a festival called Midfunes Festival with, uh, you know, Blaze Bailey in front and all that stuff. And it was a very good show. Blaze Bailey is a great frontman. He was more kind of earthy than Bruce Dickinson. Um, and yeah, he did lots of air drumming. I remember that. And he did that thing with the microphone and his, you know, back when he had hair like, like that on stage. And he had his whole thing going on. And it was a great concert. I've seen them live many times since then uh, and they've all been amazing concerts but i think maybe my favorite experience was when they were on tour supporting this album a matter of life and death and it was in i think velbu helen here in copenhagen and what i really like about that concert was it was a uh, i mean it was it, it, it was in not an intimate venue, but it was a smaller venue than what I think you're used to with Iron Maiden. Um, and um, already that was pretty cool. You know, I could I got way up in front of the stage um, and it was pretty safe up there actually as well. You didn't get squashed or anything. So that was already pretty cool. I was right in front of Yannick uh, Gears. Uh, and I think at some point he even did this to me. Ugh at some point where I was, you know, just taking a break from, from uh, freaking out at, you know, being alive at Iron Maiden. So I thought that was pretty funny. He thought it was boring there. Um, anyways, what I think was really cool about that show was that they played the entire album from beginning to end. Uh, I thought that was so awesome and refreshing. They didn't play a whole lot of other classics then. They did have an encore with, you know, Iron Maiden and some classics. But I, I don't even think they played the Trooper. And I thought that was just amazingly refreshing. I really, really liked that they did that. I know a lot of other people who were at that show complained about that. Why well, like, didn't we get the Trooper? But I just thought it was amazing that they played the, the entire album, you know, from beginning to end. Because I think it's a great album and I think all the songs on there are fantastic. So... There you go. That was my entry into Ron Haggerty's contest. I did both versions of the contest. So uh, go and support Ron Haggerty. Uh, check out his channel. Subscribe if you like metal and you if you like uh, you know uh, record collecting content. He's a channel for you. Thanks for watching.